Hey, Joe. Hello, Ashley. Hey, so this is your first year as a real Manware Pink ambassador. It is. I heard about it last year, and now this year is kind of kind of my chance to get in there and be a part of it. Are you nervous? Uh, I don't know what to expect. So it's, it's hard to be nervous because I don't actually know what's what's really required of me yet. I haven't I haven't gone through. Well, that means I didn't do my sales process well. And <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not scared, you didn't do your process well enough. No. All right. Well, let's start with this. What is your reason why? Why are you a real man? We're pink ambassador. Uh, because I feel like I can't sit by and do nothing while my mom struggles with cancer. And uh, she was diagnosed with stage four metastatic breast cancer last year in April. I didn't know what that meant. Like when, when she told me that, I didn't know if that meant I, I get the summer, do I get Christmas with my mom again? And now here we are over a year later and oh, she's a trooper. She's a trooper and a fighter and they've been adjusting her medicine. So she's, she's doing awesome. So this, this is for her. Well, we really, really appreciate you over here. Does your mom know yet that you're going to be an ambassador? Uh, they do. We have a family thread where we share all information with each other in the family. And so I posted up in there that I was going to do it and they were all really happy. So you obviously have a very uh, close personal tie to the mission. Uh, is there anything that you would say not only to other men in Chicago, but on a national level to men everywhere? Um, why is this initiative important and why is it important to get involved in this? I mean, it, it's, I think everyone gets to choose the things they stand behind. Like even if it's not breast cancer, I hope that people are standing up for something to, to fight with those that don't really have the same voice and the same opportunities that we have. And so I think for me that this, this hasn't been something before until it, came walking into my life and now it's here and I can't ignore it and I feel like I have to do something about it and so I feel like a lot of people have those they have those those things that walk in and it's just about standing up to those things when they come in and doing what we can to fight it yeah definitely everybody's I feel like everybody should have a mission or a cause that they're tied to agreed um, agreed a, a lot of the client work we do when we work with clients on kind of marketing or optimizing their website we talk about having that cause that you, you need some heart. I plan to send some more real men your way, Ashley. So, <laughs> well, thank you for that. Uh, so we are going to try and have the pink party this year, uh, obviously paying attention, close attention to city and CDC guidelines uh, yeah. as far as COVID restrictions. But what would you say you're most excited for at the pink party this year? I know we're keeping a lot of it, undercover and secret, but um, what I can share with you now is it's networking, uh, entertainment, dancing, meeting the other ambassadors. So what are you most excited for? Tau sounds really cool. Uh, I know that when I've heard of the party, there's something about a, a wall of cat clocks. Yeah. I'm going to look forward to, yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to get a picture <laughs> in front of the cat clocks. And then another friend of mine, Ga Wang, I believe is also a real man ambassador. And I haven't seen him since pre-COVID. So this moment where I get to see him and give him a hug in person and say hi again, I think it's be really cool. Yes, he is an ambassador. Um, he, he also has something in store for us at the pink party, a little surprise that I'm super excited for. But are you going to get your pink custom suit from Ga? Or do we have uh, an entire picked out yet for the party? I'm not, I'm not doing an entire pink custom suit. That's just not good with my skin tone. It's going to really, really flush me out a lot. So I feel like I'm going to have to find a unique way to incorporate some pink in. Well, my next question was going to be, what is your favorite pink item to wear? So if it doesn't go with your skin tone, this is a tricky question. Uh, I'll rock, I'll rock pink in socks. So give me like a highlight around the top of a sock. Maybe give me a couple pink stripes, some, some stripes across the sock, like an old kind of gym sock. I can do that. Like a tube sock? Yeah, there we go. There we go. We actually do have real men wear pink socks on our website, which will be coming out soon. All the attire will be coming out soon. I have seen the socks before. Do you have any fundraising plans this year? Nothing, nothing concrete. Nothing, nothing for sure. I've got a few ideas. 
Uh, last year, I had the chance to work with you on rolling out an open mic that was all virtual because we weren't able to meet up with any of the musicians in person. And we still haven't met up with any of these musicians in person. And so I definitely want to look at, can I get these musicians together? I just need to find a venue. We got to find a, a venue that wants to get in on this and then we'll supply, we'll supply the musicians and some of the promotions for it. But I really, I'd love to get everyone together and do something like that this year.